Ofcom was inundated as soon as these ads aired. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 adverts everyone complained about. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're rounding up those infamous ads from British TV, which caused all sorts of outrage amongst UK audiences. Using violence, bad language, and various shock tactics, they were supposed to inspire us to buy things. Instead, they triggered hundreds to phone up and write in to officially complain. <laughs> Number 10, The Fight, Volkswagen. Taking its inspiration from The Matrix, here we see a Volkswagen engineer fight off a series of violent clones of himself. The concept was meant to demonstrate how the company's designers pushed themselves in pursuit of perfection, but the relentless violence prompted hundreds of complaints. Advertising watchdogs ultimately insisted that it should only be shown after the 9pm watershed, though even late night viewers may have wondered why a frenzied factory fistfight should make them buy a new hatchback. Sometimes, the only one you have to beat is yourself. Number 9, Booking.Yeah booking.com. This notorious ad campaign for accommodation site booking.com shows holidaymakers tense with anticipation as they approach their hotel room, and then overjoyed when their luxury lodgings are finally revealed. But the promo's punchline hinges on a highly suggestive delivery of the brand name. You got it, booking right! Despite thousands of complaints, the ad escaped a ban as the word booking was said clearly and distinctly, regardless of the obvious meaning. This is exactly what you booking needed. Which was booking annoying for some viewers. Booking.com. Booking. Yeah. Number 8. Bedtime Stories, Departments of Energy and Climate Change. A government department promoting clean energy might seem an unlikely advertising offender, but the DECC's TV tactics unleashed a perfect storm of criticism. Scientists said it was being caused by too much CO2, which went up into the sky when the grown-ups used energy. The controversial ad showed a father reading his child a frankly terrifying bedtime story, which predicts ecological doom in the near future. Some places could even disappear under the sea and it was the children of the land who'd have to live with the horrible consequences. While it aimed to tackle the public's lack of interest in climate change, it was ultimately accused of scaremongering, leading to anger from groups claiming that the ad had a political message. Is there a happy ending? It's up to us how the story ends. Number 7. The Call Center, KFC Next, there are no scenes of graphic violence or obviously sexual imagery. It takes only bad table manners to push us over the edge. <laughs> One of the UK's most hated ads ever was a campaign for KFC's Zynga Crunch Salad, in which call centre workers sing through mouthfuls of chicken. Complaints arrived by the family bucket load, from parents claiming that the ad set a poor example, with a side order of upset call centre workers claiming it insulted their job. It's finger licking offensive. <laughs> Number 6. Orange Man, Tango When this ad proved popular in the 1990s, it really did damage people's health. Featuring an orange pot-bellied genie ambushing an unsuspecting tango drinker with a double-handed head slap, it actually inspired school kids across the country to copy the move, with eardrum-bursting results. A later version of the ad tried to tone down the violence by replacing the slap with a kiss, but it was too late. The UK had been tangoed and Happy Slapping was born. You know where you've been tangoed. Number 5. Dog Breath, Wrigley's Presenting its product as the ideal remedy for bad behaviour, Wrigley's Dog Breath TV ad shows a kebab-smeared lad awakening after a night out. <laughs> he then regurgitates a scruffy full-size dog, as you do. Thanks to primetime advertising spots, the ad was seen by millions of people, leading to hundreds of complaints from queasy viewers and parents of frightened children. Wrigley's were swiftly collared by ad watchdogs who restricted the commercial to later viewing. See you, darling. Number 4. Desperate Dan, Pot Noodle I do love cake, it's just those sandwiches. I need something filthy, you know, like a kebab. In an attempt to connect with a mid-twenties audience, Pot Noodle unveiled Desperate Dan in 2002, a character who's bored with dreary sandwiches and yearns for a dirtier, more dangerous snack. His quest takes him to a succession of seedy night spots, where he eventually finds release with instant noodles and a willing accomplice. Found the pack in two minutes. <laughs> 
but viewers were incensed by the sexual imagery and the tagline, the slag of all snacks, earned this ad a hard slap from TV regulators. Cotton noodle, the slag of all snacks. Number three, the whole chicken, KFC. The fast food giants are at it again, and for an ad centered on sassy chicken strutting to a rap tune. X go give it to you. What? Wait for you to get it on your own. X go deliver to you. But A, it enraged animal rights groups, and B, it confused its target audience, who were happy enough eating a Zinger burger, but apparently didn't want it to do a dance beforehand. Stay out my way, little. <laughs> Animal rights campaigners suggested that the company show how its chickens are really processed instead, while some KFC customers even questioned eating meat at all after seeing the ad. A misfire on all counts. Number 2. Favourites McDonald's Can a deep fried fish sandwich help ease the pain of losing a parent? Well, according to McDonald's, it's worth a try. In this commercial for the fast food chain, a boy asks his mother about the father he never knew. What was dad like? The glum son promptly cheers up when told of his dead dad's preference for the filet o fish What was your dad's favourite too? Tartar sauce, well down his chin. The ad was battered with complaints and promptly banned for using a serious issue to promote junk food. Meanwhile, the unloved filet fish is yet to find a place in our hearts. Number 1. Blind Football – Paddy Power When it comes to causing offence, bookmakers' paddy power are always a safe bet. More than a thousand viewers complained about this advert in which a team of blindfolded footballers play a chaotic match. To add injury to insult, the promo also featured a cat on the receiving end of a free kick. But angry viewers were nutmegged by Paddy Power's response. The ad featured members of the England blind football team, and claims that it encouraged animal cruelty were rejected. Paddy Power can't get Tiddles back. There's nothing we can do about that. But we can get you your money back with our money back specials. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo UK, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.